we believe it's important every time that you step out on the athletic field that you that you strive. You strive to win. Alright? And the second goal is what Okay, I'll ask again. What's the second goal? Learn about yourself in life. So what we're saying here is simply this. Participate in sports and activities. One thing to remember is this. Some people see sports as curricular activity. We see it as a co-curricular, an extension of the classroom, where you can learn these great life lessons through Now, can someone show me what are a couple of life lessons? Play sports. Okay, teamwork. What else? Bonding. She said bonding. Anyone else? The following one. What else? Good. Good. What about leadership? Okay. Credit for what's your name? Inchasia. Apex and leadership. And she's going to leadership right now. Okay. Now, let me get someone to read that. Actually, someone. What are the leaders? Okay. Why don't you just step up and read? Sports can do so much that giving me a framework. Meeting new people, confidence, self esteem, this is quick wins. I'm just playing. This is quick Motivation, all these things I learned, whether I knew I was learning them or not, through sports. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Who said this? Me and him. Who needs to be with me and him? Okay. So, she said, listen, I learned all these things, whether or not I knew I was learning through sports. There's a lot of things that you can learn through a place that can help you on and off the athletic. This workshop is about what? A journey that some athletes make, but not all. Now, let me say this. All of you are what we call participants. But the question that we're asking today is, how many of you are what we call competitors? Right, you know a competitor when you compete with this one. Alright? And we'll find out what that means to them. Now, take a look at those four images. Four images there. And what I'd like you to do is, I'd like you to decide which one of these images most exemplifies what it means to be a competitor. In other words, which one of these do you believe most play competition? So take a couple minutes. But also, what I'd like you to do is think about two or three reasons why you selected the image you selected. Okay? I'll give companies to do that. Now, let's see if you can make up your own mind. Don't you know? else to change your mind. Kind of think about that for yourself. Okay, now. This is what we'll do. If you believe that this image here, the two basketball players, right, on the top, the males, if you believe that image most exemplifies what it means to be a competitor, what I'd like you to do is simply stand. The two guys walk in. Just go ahead and stand. If you believe that image most exemplifies what it means to be a competitor. Okay. Go ahead. Three reasons why. Okay. Three reasons why. Because the look on his face and how he's pushing the guy to the side to reach for it with, I guess, the ball. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, what about this image here? The Football players. If you believe that one, most exemplifies what it means to be a competitor, I'd like you to stand. The two football players. Which one most exemplifies what it means to be a competitor? The football players. Anyone select that image? Okay, uh, what about the soccer players? If you believe that one, most exemplifies what it means to be a competitor, I'd like you to stand. 